What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the Pro. Welcome back to a brand new video. We are here and we are back with a brand new video for you guys. Um, we're gonna talk about in today's video the fourth quarter issues slash the uh, issue to close games for this team. Um, it's been something that has been recurring, and I did say last video that I would make a video about this if it got worse. And listen, I'm not saying it got like catastrophically worse, but it is a problem and we do have to address it because it's been something that has been if there's one negative for this team this season it's been closing games and who knows like with if we had won the game against chicago and last night against new york and then the other games that we were supposed to win in the fourth quarter like we probably would have been the one seed in the east like let's just be honest like it's just you know and obviously it's all hypotheticals but collapses like that are just very very uncharacteristic unchar of what this team should be playing like especially when they've been playing a certain way for the whole game and then in the third and fourth quarter or just the fourth quarter like the late third and the fourth they just collapse somehow i don't know why but if you even look at the point differential if you look and do your research to see the point differential in the first second third and fourth this team is guns blazing in the first quarter they go all out pushing the ball the hitting threes everything third quarter same thing out of halftime second quarter is is, is, is a little you know it's a little bad it's not it's not like anything terrible but you know the point differential isn't that great but the fourth quarter is terrible for this team and we're going to talk about why we're going to address that uh, make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you guys are new comment down below your thoughts uh, concerns questions any of that um on the road to 3k you guys have been showing a lot of love i, I really appreciate that um yeah let's just get right into it man listen we're, we're just gonna just get right into why i believe this team has been struggling um, the number one reason that I've been seeing, you know, from this team in the fourth quarter is that they play extremely conservative, slow basketball in the fourth. And it's almost like they're just trying not to lose instead of trying to win. And that's not going to win you games in this league. Like when you're even when you're up by 15, this league has become so talented and the, te the tempo and pace is so fast for a lot of these teams that a 15 point can be erased in a second. If you're just not careful and this team has had back-to-back -back leads of 20 plus points and they've thrown it away by just messing with the ball just not being serious like i don't know why this team acts like it's garbage time every time it's 20 it's every time you have a 20 point lead and it's not garbage time like the third quarter was like we we're in the middle of the third quarter and we were up by 20 like there's still a quarter and a half left and for some reason, this team just tries to act confident and they just, you know, play conservative basketball, just trying to run the clock down. Like, no, teams are too good in this league now to pick up on that and they'll take advantage. The Knicks had no business winning last night. We controlled that game from the start. But in the fourth quarter, they they outscored us by, I think, 20, 20, 20 to 30 points in that fourth quarter. They were they were crazy. And we had nine points in that quarter. Like nine points is unacceptable in any quarter for an NBA team in this in this era. Nine points, like that's come on, man. Nine points is like, like I can, I don't even have to tell you about how embarrassing scoring nine points in a quarter is. Like it's 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 embarrassing. And I'm I'm just I'm just very very surprised that a team with this many veteran, you know, players and uh you know championship experience with Lowry and Love and Spolstra like they they are not stupid like they're obviously smart like they know you know how to play like they're, they've obviously exceeded expectations according to a lot of people like i had them you know top four a lot of like national media didn't have them even in the playoffs like they, they had them like 10 or 11 like or, or, or 9 or 10 like in the play-in like they've done really really well this season it's just a shame that it would have been a near perfect season if this collapsing and, and fourth quarter blowing leads nonsense wasn't an issue and I'm just so surprised that this is something that's been a characteristic of this team. Like, I thought, okay, maybe maybe it's a one-off, like, when it happened once. But, like, it's happened, like, three, four times this season already, bro. Or we've just been blowing leads, blowing leads, blowing leads. Like, how? Like, this team is not a team that should be getting cocky. Like, we need to be playing hard. And we need to be playing heat basketball for four quarters. For some reason, this team thinks that they've arrived every time we have a 20-point lead. Like... The game still has a lot of time left to be played. Against the Bulls, we led by 20 in the first, first quarter. There's still three quarters remaining, and we took our foot off the gas. Now, they'll bounce back today tonight. I, I definitely think we're going to beat the brakes out of Brooklyn, but 
listen this has to be something that's that, that's going to be fixed like the fourth quarter nonsense the blowing leads the closing games has to be fixed has to and again it goes back to what i said at the beginning like when i talked about the reason they play not to lose they play to run the clock down and just for time to expire so they can pull out the w and every time you ask them whenever we blow leads and we win if you ask them about you know is this an issue they'll be like no a win is a win and i hate that that's the one thing i hate what that spo says and jimmy says yeah a win is a win i get that bro and i know you're just trying to say that to instill confidence into your team and blah 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 but sooner or later the the blowing leads is going to catch up to us and it did on multiple occasions this season we can get away sometimes with winning games when we blow leads but more often than not it's going to re- result in you losing and this was an important game like i don't know about you guys i know it's just a regular season game but i want to win the in-season tournament like any anything that's up for grabs for this team to win i want to win and it's just a very 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 disappointing theme that we've seen from the team like Blowing leads has been something that the Heat have done for years now. But closing games, I've never seen this issue before. And it's like I don't know. I don't know if something something has to something has to change with the coaching philosophy with Spo has to just get into them and be like, "Listen, even if we're up 20, just play hard, play fast. The tempo and the pace is another thing. Why do we just play so slow when we have 20-point leads? Like we just don't even look to score." Like I get we missed some open shots but come on man like we 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 don't have a team full of isolation killers for us to just play isolation slow basketball like we just don't have that the, our only isolation player we have right now is Jimmy and he's not even like the most reliable jump shooter this season has been he's been good but we know Jimmy's game it's to get to the rim so why are we playing like Jimmy Butler is Steph Curry like or or or, or Damian Lillard where he can just pull up from 30 feet and we're just Everyone's just spreading out around him and he's just dribbling the ball. And then Kyle Lowry's dribbling the ball and Josh Richardson like, bro, cut it out and just play heat basketball. Move, cut, pass, dribble handoff, everything, screen, like some action other than just people dribbling and passing to each other. Like, this is not how we play. Why are we getting away from what we're good at? We went through Bam for majority of the game. I understand he got double teamed at the end, but... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta find some more counters to that. Bam is the focal point of this team, offensively and defensively. Whether Jimmy's the best player, he is. Bam is the focal point because he can play make. He's a hub. He can, he can dribble. I mean, Isaiah Hardenstein has no business guarding this dude. And I'm seeing Bam settle for uh, contested, you know, long mid range jump shots. Like, come on, Bam. Get to the rim. Jimmy Butler, get to the rim. There was one time where the Knicks went on a run and Jimmy Butler immediately just went to the rim and drew a foul. And we got points off that. Like, why don't we just do that more? Nine points in the fourth. Two of them I, I were, were valid where Jimmy drew the foul and he was like, let me just, you know, get the momentum back onto our side. They're, they're getting the momentum. That was good. I was smart. I was like, okay, cool. Not one and not one point that I ever thought we were going to lose that game. And then... I don't even know what happened, but just the Knicks just just started hitting everything. And we just we literally just gave them opportunities by just taking terrible shots and then giving them opportunities in transition. And then one of our points, the Richardson jump shot was like with two seconds left to hit like some bailout three. Like that's not consistent. That's not going to be sustainable. You got to be better if you're the heat. This is so uncharacteristic from the, from a team with this this much veteran experience and this is a team that you're talking about oh we're the hardest working discipline blah 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 like come on man this that's not that's not discipline basketball at all like that's not hard hard working at all when you're literally just playing just to play keep away for like a quarter and a half like how is that going to win you games in this league it's not they got to be better and then defensively i don't even think the defense was the issue last night but transition defense was terrible Every time I saw somebody was open for a three, quickly shot like four or five threes that were wide open in transition. He knocked down three, four of them. Barrett had a three in the corner where he was wide open in transition. Brunson had a three. Randall, had, like, listen, bro. You can't just leaving be, be leaving people wide open for threes. You can't in transition. This is a league now where 
you know, people will try to find the three-point shot in transition because it's so three-point heavy, this league now. And it's just laziness. It's just laziness. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, I, I don't know what else it can be besides it being just laziness and just being pure lethargy and just not caring about the fact that you're about to squander a 21-point lead. And you're just, you're just like, oh, it's fine. Next play, we still, we still got this game under control, blah, blah, blah. No. The Knicks came back in a flash. And that's how, if you have a big lead in this league, you can go away in an instant if you just play right into their hands by just completely switching the style of basketball that you play. Walking the walking on defense, walking on offense, not playing with any urgency pace. We have to play like we're down 20 when we're up 20 as well. We can't be just playing like it's garbage time, like when we're when we when we have leads. That's why we keep blowing them. This team gets too cocky at times. It's happened before, and people will be like, Jimmy and Spo will be like, Oh, it's a, a win is a win if we win these games. But sooner or later, it's, it's not gonna be a win, Jimmy. It's not gonna be a win, Spo. That's what happened four or five games out of the season. The Bulls lost, the Knicks lost. There was a couple more games that I can't even remember right now, but it's been an issue for this team and it has to change. Now, I think we're going to beat Brooklyn tonight because this team is going to bounce back. Spoh's going to get it to them, but it has to be consistent. It cannot be, you know, we just, because we did that against against Chicago. We, we came out and we took care of business and then we beat Cleveland. I was like, okay, this team has, you know, finally got rid of that problem, but bro, it's happened again tonight. And I'm like, man, come on, bro. Just... Please just fix the issue of blowing leads and closing games by just playing faster, playing up-tempo basketball, playing with urgency, getting back in transition defensively, and not playing conservative basketball. Go through BAM. I don't know why Haywood Highsmith was subbed out. Jaime Jaquez was... I love Jaime, but Jalen Brunson was going at him every single possession. He would not have done that on Highsmith, or Highsmith would have done a better job. I don't know. It's just a lot of issues that I've been seeing. Mental errors. It's not even like these are like, oh, this team is not good enough. Like this team can fix these in an instant if they want to. It's not anything big. Like playing hard should be an understatement for any team, especially the Miami Heat. Not playing hard in the fourth, not playing with urgency in the fourth. The Miami Heat. Is that the same team we're talking about with the Heat culture on their jerseys? I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just over that. I'm just I, I just I just I don't know. I, I I think I've been repeating myself a lot in this video, but. Listen, man, we're going to wrap it up here. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope this team fixes this issue because if not, I mean, apart from that, like, this team has been absolutely perfect this season. Like, I have nothing, no complaints apart from this one thing. I don't even want to make a video about this, but I had to because it's it was so many times that it happened. But, um, yeah, hopefully this issue stops. We beat Brooklyn tonight and we get back on track. But, yeah, I'll see y'all later as always, man. Have a nice day. Peace.